The next set of controls are called color correction controls. And I think to most people, the difference between color balance and color correction is kind of vague. It's just, you know, once you understand where these things are and that in the color balance, that's where you do match color or white balance or skin tone balance, you'll know to go there for that for those controls. The color correction, which is this next button here, I'm going to click it, and you'll see it's a very different set of controls. It's a little bit more, uh, I'd say, professional. I mean, it's it's definitely a little bit more control than those other options give you. So this is sort of like a manual version of some of the things going on in those other settings. You can do in this window all of the things that you were doing automatically in this window. So even though when you use the enhance, it actually affects both of them, when you're doing it manually, chances are you're probably going to do one or the other. So in the color correction setting, you've got three main controls. The first one is your contrast control, where you set your black levels, white levels, gray levels, and uh, contrast levels. Then we've got a middle control here, which is the overall saturation, how much color or how little color is in your image. And then finally, something called color temperature. And that's just going to move you between sort of blue and orange. So you can go from blue to orange. And that's because that axis between blue and orange is one of the most common things that goes wrong when you're shooting because of the nature of what kind of lighting you are using. So we're going to start over here on the left with this big crazy control and it looks more complicated than it is. Uh, it's it It looks more complicated than it is, and I think it's a little fun to use. Plus, there are little tool tips. If you roll your pointer over one of these, this one says adjust brightness to make the clip lighter or darker. This one says adjust contrast to increase the decrease the difference between the light and the dark areas. This says adjust highlights. This is over here is adjust the shadows. So basically, what you've got here is a range of all of your colors. Uh, all of your brightness, I should say. The colors are sort of inherent. This is just the black and white element of the image. And what we can do is we can say, take the darkest areas of the image, the blackest parts of the frame, and make them darker by dragging this to the left, right? You see how that makes the darkest areas dark? Or make them lighter by dragging it to the right. Now, you'll notice when I'm dragging that, that the sky never changes. The, this bag of crops or whatever, these white areas, are not affected. When I drag this bottom area, those areas of the image are not or barely affected. Because really, this but this little nub here is only controlling your shadows. It's only controlling the darkest part of your image. The other side over here, this is only affecting the brightest part of the image. So if I drag this, if I drag it to the right, I'm making the brightest parts brighter. Or if I drag it to the left, I'm making the brightest parts darker. But again, you'll see like this guy's sweatshirt or like the tires or the donkeys, they don't really change. No matter what I do here, they sort of remain the same. And that's because, again, those are the darker areas of the image, and these are the brighter areas of the image. The middle is going to control the overall brightness or darkness of the whole image. And that's going to affect more of the image. Although you still see the white of this, the, the white cart here, the white of this bag and the dark of the shadows or the donkey's legs really aren't affected. They kind of stay the same no matter what I do. And that's because you can see those pins, those little bubbles there, are not moving. So to use this effectively, you're going to use all of these different controls. And then let's not forget these two in the middle here. These are actually connected. When you click one, it moves both of them. And that lowers your contrast or increases your contrast. And so again, by contrast, I mean how bright the brights are compared to the darkest areas. So when this is spread out, it's very high contrast. You can see very sharp difference. There's dark areas and there's light areas, and there's not a lot in between. When we drag that towards the middle, the whole thing is sort of a muddy gray. So let's now talk about how to use this or so now that you understand what these controls do, let's talk about how to make good use of them and how to when when and how I recommend you use them. So now you know that what these controls are and what they do, let's talk about So now that you know what these yeah. So now that you know what these controls are and what they do roughly, let me explain how I recommend you use them to make the best use of the program. 